you say you wanted tea or coffee? Uh, oh. Well, if you can't remember, I don't know how I'm supposed to. Oh, I'll have a tea. Oh. Oh. Blake, have you seen the state here? Do you not think you should hang fire on this decision about Simon? No. I can't keep hoping things are going to get better. Doing now, it's harming him and it's harming me and all. I was looking for that. It was only half full. Why are we not turning into one of those obsessive cleaning people? Uh, that jumper shouldn't need washing. Except I've just got toothpaste all over it. I was talking about how I should clean my teeth properly. Because she cares. I'll give her something white and shiny to wear, Matt, more like. Oi! Your mum did not hit you, she wouldn't. Even if you are asking for it. Do you want tea or coffee? Tea. She's got a girl prepared to travel halfway across the universe you know, using only an aeroplane, bus and taxi. Just to clap eyes on you for a couple of days and you're feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not. I'm just knackered, that's all. I couldn't sleep. Yeah, well, some of us have silt show women. Hey, it's hard, isn't it? You know, when you see someone you love and then they disappear again, I mean, it makes you miss them more. <laughs> Did you hear that, eh? That's called empathy. One of them words you can't pronounce. Uh, empathy? <laughs> what else can't you pronounce? Say anonymous. <laughs> You can't say anonymous. Of course I can. Oh, go on, then. No. Anonymous. Anonymous. <laughs> ah, noni. Oh, my God. Oh, isn't it? Ah, noni. on the bus now, sat near the back. Oh, I'm in the back. Roadside or pavement side. Kirky, it's bad enough kids share every waking thought without you getting involved. As she's moved forward, there were some girls staring. Well, far forward. I'll ask. I'll just give us a kiss, Craigie. They'd turn on to Rosamond Street now. At least you don't have to listen to every drivelly detail anymore. Hey, did I tell you Mrs Connors ordered a new sellotape machine? You won't hold all the big sizes like we've got now, but it'll be great for parcel tape. <sighs> I was just thinking about you. Oh, were you now? Oh, well, no, not like that. Oh. Well, no, not, not like that. I mean, obviously, I do think like that. <laughs> do you now? <laughs> yeah, actually, let's just forget about that other. <laughs> oh, please. I have enough of that at home. Just jealous. You know you can't resist a handsome virile man. <laughs> Whatever. No offence, Michael, but you know in the saying, why have a beef burger when you got the steak at home? Well, you're a mince patty. Whereas my Billy is prime sirloin. Oh, street cars. Uh, those are my keys. I know. Uh, and where are you going to? I picked them up the same time as night. Sorry about that. Anyway, have a nice day, y'all. 22. <laughs> 22, you say? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, of course you'd know. Sorry, sorry. I, I was just checking. We, we like to check. Yeah, what name? Uh, ten minutes. Anybody available for a fresh coast pickup? Yeah, I'm in there. The name of D. 22 Station Road. Thanks, Mick. Cheers. So, where were we? So, what was that thought again? When you came in, you, you said you'd had a thought. It was just about tea. Oh. Steph! Steph! Don't ignore me. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. We do everything by your rules. We speak when it suits you. We sneak when it suits sneak. you. Sneak? You mean Jamie? I told you it was fitness car stereo. We lie when it suits you. Do you know what? I, I am past caring, Luke. And I'm late for work. Okay. Fine. Cool. Hey. Hi. I don't know what the plats have done to offend her. Uh, if only they could talk, eh? Uh, I just wanted if you were free for a cuppa. Yeah, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I just wanted to catch up with you before Simon gets back. Well, I'll just take him for a booster, so lunchtime? Yeah. Of course. Maybe Gail was a better than a former life. <laughs> well, there's a scary thought. You wouldn't want Gail coming at you with a thermometer, eh, Eccles? <laughs> <laughs> See, ya. See ya. Leon! I've had a load of freebies at the gym. Sweatbands and that. Shall I drop some off for Simon later? Uh, yeah, you can do, except he's not going to be at mine. I'm going to ask Ken to have him for a bit. Oh, you've got something nice planned. I can have him. Ken's busy. No, I mean, I'm going to ask Ken to have him for a few weeks, at least. What, he's hit you again? No. No, but I came close to hitting him. It's just not working. Moving him out, though, isn't that a bit extreme? I'd have to justify himself to you. No, of course not. Sorry. Well, I'll drop him to you and you can give him in. Oh, 
let's look at that cake. That looks clever. When were you ever interested in sticky tape? You can borrow it if you like, for your wedding. For a wedding? No, Tar. Right, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. Bearing in mind, I am squeamish. Decorations and that. Envelopes for invites. Bunting. Mm. Bit of useful. Oh, ignore them, Kate. I have been responsible for organising a lesbian wedding, and I can assure you nothing was held together with sanitary. Maybe that's where it went wrong. <laughs> Oh, feel free to ridicule my daughter's heartbreak, why don't you? But if anything good came out of it, it was my expertise, so if you need any advice... No, Tara. Or contact? I'm sure we'll be fine. I've said the lady did the cake. Really? We'll sort it. You have to make sure that they're gay-friendly. No, what do you think? Oh, and I'm the photographer. I've got the contact. No, Tara. Although I do feel a bit proud because they had a bit of a waste of journey. Hello, I'll sure. be using this in your gob in a minute. Oh, there's no need for that. Uh, Kate, get back to the loading bay. Yeah, and Sally back to work. Now, Kate. Go on, love. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Try and do people a favour. I've just seen Mick in the cafe. He says if you send him any more weirdos or needies, he's going back to driving a bus. Well, he's only done one job today. Mm, fresh goes to Station Road. Don't worry, I've heard it all in real time. Really? Oh, yeah, she made me turn off my meter when we pull up to the house. Then she asked him to help her to the front door. Then he had to go round and check the back door. And then she wanted him to check the window locks that she'd had put in in the bedroom. In the bedroom? Mm, that's what he thought, cos you know he thinks he's God's gift. Anyway, so she takes him up there. And turns out she does want him to check the window locks because she's proper paranoid. And then she goes on about all the crime committed within a three-mile radius. That's been a lot of crime, I mean. Thing is, if she's that security conscious, why does she leave all her shopping in his boot? Well, can't he nip it back to her? Oh, I've done my bit. This is your problem. Oh. A dust mask only filters out the paint particles. You need a mask that filters both. I thought graffiti artists wore them big masks of disguise. Yeah, well, there's that too, obviously. I tried spray painting once. It all dripped down and ruined it. <sighs> it's just the technique. It's the way you hold the cannon, that. I could teach you. Yeah? Yeah. I'm sorting dates to go out and see Maria. You thinking of going over? When? Next couple of weeks. Nah. I've seen some dead cheap flights. It's too soon, mate. I need to save. Well, I bet Marie would borrow you. It's too soon, yeah? Right. Sauce. Hey, I can lend you a bit if you know Too that... soon! Am I talking to myself? Flaming stupid thing! Well, I hope that's not your betrothed you're knocking at. No, my phone. Trying to download the picture because I sent. Oh, shield my eyes. You're not coming in the car. Oh. Ark at the boss's sister. Too good for us plebs, is she? Hmm? Mrs. Connor. Mr. Connor. John, I just I don't see how setting unrealistic deadlines is the answer. Oh, we've got to impress things. They'll make up for lost ground. How's it going to impress them if we miss the deadline? I don't think you're a bit reckless with that date, son. Oh, you can think that, or you can trust me. I didn't say out at the time. I didn't want to undermine you. I said, don't undermine me. We'll be fine. OK, don't eat on the steps. No, public place. Actually, they're work premises. I'm a worker. Let her eat her butty on the step. Uh, front door is our first impression. Which is where I can still get our Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi, not yours. All right, son, don't take it out on Kate. What is going on with you today, Aidan? Chucking your weight around at me and telling him not to kick off at me in front of the others. No, threatening to tape up Sally's gob with parcel tape. No, he's nobody's thought of it before. <laughs> Oh, oh, is that Cass? Oh, look, me and Grumpy. Uh, Cass has put an Uluru kind of engagement finger. But that's all that gets her through out there. Thought I'm marrying you. <laughs> Can you at least pretend I'm the boss, eh? I've uh, been thinking a lot about Lucy. Lucy? Oh, Simon's mum. Yeah. yeah. Must have been hard for her. Young mum facing her own death, worrying how Si would grow up. Yeah, you do a fantastic job with Simon. No. <laughs> Lucy will be happy that you're there. I think we, uh, I think we need to look at managing him differently. Is he being awkward? That'll be because he's just been with Peter. No, yeah, no, no, it's not he, that. He'll settle down. I want him to come and live here for a bit. Here? Yeah. I think he needs a 
male role model. You. I'm, I'm not what he needs. Ah, oh, don't do yourself down. I'm, I'm not... Oh, you are, you are. No, I'm not coping. No, at his age, it makes us all feel like we can't do anything. Kenny, you're not listening to me. I said I'm not coping. Sorry. OK. I'm listening. Go on. Oh, um... Is it about Cal? Ruby? Yeah. Yeah. I just think if you lived here for a bit... That's what you want? Yeah, I think it's for the best. OK. Thank you. So, what does Simon feel about this? Does he know? Yeah, well, that's next. I know what you could achieve when you lot pull together. You know what you lot are capable of. You are an amazing team. We need to get Sings Textiles back on side. You know, they are rising players. They buzz, we buzz, and I know you lot want that as much as we do. In a kind of hourly rate as opposed to shares and profits way. Well, that's true enough. Well, some of us have pride in the workplace. Thank you, Sally. Oh, he's not finished. He's only this nice when he wants some. Yeah, I do want some, but nothing you'll not want to give. I want a proper team effort. You know, we put in the extra hours now and there's job security down the line. Well, I'm in, because I'm currently saving for a holiday. Mm -hmm. When Billy gets a week off work, I'm going to take him to Cape Cod. Cape Cod? Cape Cod. Oh, all right, I was going to say. Well, I'll be up for some overtime too, just not this weekend. This weekend's critical. You know, we're trying to step it up a gear. Give us all security, a way of looking after each other. So basically, if we'd rather spend our evenings and weekends with our friends and family, we're letting everyone down. We'll not need packing this weekend, Kate. Mm. You and Kurt go back to work. Oh, but Aidan says we're a team. Uh, I'm a team. I'll go take Jake swimming tomorrow. We've booked to lie in. It's on the calendar. I wouldn't ask if I didn't think you'll benefit in the long run. Oh, from the man who wants to ration the Wi-Fi. Kate, that's enough. Uh, it's fine. You know, they'll make their own minds up. Have a think about it. And I'll speak to her later. Someone's got to stick up for the workers. Hey, 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 hey. Is he seriously going to ration the Wi-Fi? £2.80 on the bus, an hour out me day, and a stabbing pain in my patella. Can I help you? My shopping. I rang. You said someone would drop it off. No one has. It'll not keep that salad. It was reduced. Yeah. 22 Station Road. Yeah, right. Rain man. How long have you lived there? What's that to you? Where's my shopping? It's here. I'm going to drop it off after the shift. I'll reimburse you for your bus fare. Oh, uh, actually, Eileen, can you cover switch for a couple of minutes? Uh, let's get one of the cabs to run you back right now. She left the shopping in the boot. Yes, I know. Uh, he left it, that driver. We can't take responsibility. We need to get our lettuce in the fridge. Oh, we do, do we? I have to get the right vitamins. It's never healed right, my patella. Three ops I've had. This way. Um, I've got cakes, Michael. Love the car stereo, Luke fitted. Come for a ride with me. Jamie! Why did you send that? You two must think I'm an idiot. I know you didn't fit the car stereo. You were racing. I'm ringing him now. Just stop being so tight with him and stop lying to my face, OK? You two arguing again. I know what this is about, you know. What do you know? Maria? So what, uh, have you fell out? Split up? No. What then? Come on. Luke, you've been in the mood all day, and when Kirk asks you if you're gonna go and visit Maria, you bite his head off. I haven't spoken to Maria. So is that the problem? No! There's no problem with Maria. Well, what then? Steph? Steph's the problem. Right, so what's Steph done wrong? No. You, you can trust me, you know. She's done now. Well, nothing that's her fault, anyway. I'm sure she wasn't that bad. Oh, well, you didn't help. Backing her up before, feeding the monster. Letting her eat a butty on the step. The revolution. Ah, you'll not be joking if we don't get enough overtime out of him. 
bastard. You pulled the deadline too early, didn't I? Well, if it wasn't for my little sister picking today to go point scoring, she does this and it winds me you up. You wind each other up. Me and Rob are the same. Oh, she's hard enough to manage at the best of times. Awkward for awkward's sake. I should never let my dad give her that job in the first place. There goes the apology I was toying with. Look, he's just having yeah, a look. Awkward, yeah? Hard to manage. Oh, yes, actually. Yeah, cheers. <sighs> Damn. What were you saying about me feeding the monster? Come on. What are you doing, bag? Oh, I owe Sean a fiver. Oh. Oh, he's just dumping his stuff in his room. Are you okay? It'll all work out, you know, this stuff with Simon. Just think what that philosopher said. You'll get knocked down, but you'll get back up again. That was Chumba Wumba. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? I'm not allowed to use my phone in school. Do you want me to stay? No, we're fine. No, you're not allowed to use your phone in school. So I text. So I come straight home, I need a chat. Yeah, after school. Am I going into care? No. Liar. Say, si, I'd never put you into care. What makes you think that? Cos you're vying more than I need, and you only do that when I'm going away. You've ironed nearly everything. You're not going away. You're just going to go and stay with Grandad for a bit, that's all. Why? Cos it's for the best. For who? For you. Well, for both of us. We know things go wrong when we're both here. Oh, you go and live at Grandad's then. Si, please, I'm just trying to find a solution. Anything you want. It's only a sketch to see what it'll look like. You can always change your mind. A huge C. For Caitlin. Or Craig. A C that's like a moon sliver. With a sat on it. OK, let's start with the C that's like a moon. I'm not great at people. Wouldn't it be fab to find, like, a skyscraper or something? And then abseil down, slowly spraying, like, a massive picture? You'd need a lot of cans. I could drop them down to you from above. You mean me on the skyscraper, not you? Both of us. We could get one of those window cleaner cradles, turn Beetham Tower into a space station. One day, but for now. Let's do the sea. I know you're up and down, missing Cass. Has Aiden sent you to have a word with me? No, but you've got to stop winding him up. Yeah, and he's got to stop talking about me behind my back. Let him do his job, manage this place. Yeah, sure. If you can. OK, lovely people. Along the top, Friday evening, Saturday morning, afternoon, evening. Same for Sunday. Name down the side and whatever shifts you can do here. And for an extra incentive, there's a bonus, you know, for those who sign up for the whole lot. What, what bonus? A £10 music voucher. Well, can't it just be £10? It should be double time, no? How about time and a half? An extra two quid an hour. Kate, love, it's one weekend. And the work's optional. And walking out is optional. Walking out? Whoa! I'm not risking my job here. Me neither, I can't. Exactly. None of you can. My brother's got you over a barrel and he knows it. Oh, he's offering a bit of overtime. Shall we get on with this? Shall I get on with walking out? Uh, except you won't, then. <sighs> Watch me. Kate. <sighs> Blimey. Show's over. Pass this round. So, was that an actual resignation, then? Shit off. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, what kind of photos? Well, how bad? Uh, well, it's not about how bad. It's about how Steph would feel if people got a hold of me. You should tell her. <laughs> yeah, and what do you think she would do? You know Steph. She'd kick off and then Jamie would post the photos. What? He would do that? Hmm. What get? <sighs> she was obsessed with him at the time. First proper boyfriend, gutted when he split. I already knew what Jamie was like, a race with him. So what will you do? This. Let her hate me so they can think of something better. You can go now. Ah, no, no hurry. Sit down, Leon. Stand up, Leon. Simon, let's be civilised about this. It could be fun. Good for me to have young people around the house. And you can help Amy teach me about the world. Quite frankly, I find a lot of it bewildering these days. 
And you can come for your tea and catch oh, your just tell her to go. She's only hanging around because she feels guilty. She has nothing to feel guilty for. I always end up getting in the way in the end. I'll say, it's I'll not see like... you. <sighs> I'll talk to him. He's hurt, that's all. That's all? Will we get arrested? No. My mum doesn't mind me practising on the yard walls. Looks good, doesn't it? There you go. Uh, you do the spray and you'll better try it. More practice, that's all. Here we go. OK, confession. I bought this new yesterday. Why are you wearing it on a school night? Well, we'll see you, wasn't I? <laughs> I'll um, get you an old T-shirt to spray in. I've got a vest up on underneath. You don't want to ruin that either. Ow. Ow. Keep still. Ah. Whoa, whoa! I'm as broad-minded as the next, but... Not in my living room. Mum, it's not what you think. Mm. Mum! Come tomorrow, yeah? Don't go! Say it'll be all right. I don't want to stop here. I know, but we need some time apart. Walk off now. And I won't speak to you again. Sai. I mean it, 100%. Walk off now. I swear on Grandad's life, I'll never speak to you again. Not ever. We're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.